Hi everyone, Zach here, and welcome to the first lesson in developing a survival game. In this video, we'll be setting up our project, so we will not be doing that much work. That said, I originally recorded this project over a year ago using an older version of the engine. Due to a technical issue, I lost the project and my computer. I have had to restart the series from scratch and decided to keep as close as possible to the original. Therefore, I am going to use UE 4.22. However, I can tell you that this project will work in the newest version of UE 4 with no changes needed. I have tested this project file in all versions of the engine from 4.22 forwards. That said, this series has been brought to you by my Patreon sponsors like Random Number Generator, Haynes, Quad Mason, and Rian. All of that said, fire up Epic Launcher and let's make a start. Hi everyone and welcome into your Epic Launcher. If you're not already in your library tab, come over to your library tab. And we are going to start by making our project. Now you can see I have multiple versions of it up here. You can also see some of the other stuff I have up. Now, what I want to point out is that while I am using 4.22, as you can see, that's where we started here. We will at one point update the project to 4.23. And I have tested it on every iteration from 4.22 to 4.26. It works without any necessary changes. But to keep consistency with what I originally done and what I did in the re-recording, because this is my third recording of this series, we will be starting in 4.22. So go ahead and launch that. So with it launched, we get this lovely window. And it'll look slightly different in newer versions, so all the things are there, they just might be in a different order. Go over to New Project, or if you're in the newer version, click Game and Next. And in here, we're gonna stay in our blueprint settings. We're gonna switch over to third person. We are going to leave this on desktop stroke console. Maximum quality, and you know, we don't need the starter content. We can get stuff from the engine settings. So what we're gonna do is no starter content, so it's a bit easier for me to put on the GitHub, but on the GitHub. If you want a copy with starter content, go for it. I'm gonna just name this project Survival Tutorial, or actually Survival, yeah, Survival Tutorial. That, that's a new name technically. And I'm gonna click Create Project. This will take a moment, but once a project is started, we can get started with the organization that we need to do. Alrighty, so here we are in our project. Now, I'm going to very quickly do one thing that won't affect anybody, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I have the um, Megascans Mixer plugin activated. I don't need it. I have to restart my engine either way, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to ignore that. Alright, I am not sure why the project files are out of date, but we're going to update them. If you have that, then click that. The next thing I'm doing also is just because I do it for tutorials, you don't need to, I go full screen. All right, with that done, we're, what we're going to do is organize our project because organization is key to good workflow. I cannot trust that enough. Organization is key to good workflow. If you wanna say, all right, I had the project, we'll move on to the next video, fair enough. I do ask that you follow one thing I do just so you have some of the organization. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna to go to my content window. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create new folder. I'm just gonna call this survival game. Now, in this folder, the one thing I ask that you do is make a core folder. Core will store all of our blueprints, all of our widgets, all of our key files. So I'm gonna create two file folders in here right away. One will be character and one will be settings. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take things that already exist and just move them into that folder. So go into the third person BP, and in here, well first I'm gonna delete this third person overview because I'm not gonna use it, and it gets in the way. I'm gonna go to my blueprints, and I'm gonna take my third person character here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna first open core up. I'm gonna drag them into survival game, core, character, and move. 
And I'm gonna do the same for my third person game mode into our settings folder. Again, move. With that done, I am gonna do one more. Actually, I'm gonna say follow two things I do. The second is to create another folder outside of here in our survival game called maps. And in our maps folder, I'm just going to move our third person BP example with our third person uh, B, or third person example map build into that maps folder. I'm just gonna do move here. Then I'm gonna right click this folder, select fix up redirectors. This will address any references and temporary redirectors that we have. With that done, I can now right click and delete this folder and it will vanish. Next, because we've just moved the map, what we need to do is we need to actually tell the engine where the map is. Otherwise, when you start this up again, you're gonna have a blank screen. So go to settings, project settings, and then go to maps and modes. And here, select your third, ooh, let me just control, I save everything. Now project settings, maps and modes, Interesting. I'm just going to pull that out for a moment and make sure that it's located it. If it hasn't located in the correct folder, make sure it does locate it. It looks like it has for mine. Um, if you do have that issue where you load into a blank screen next time, then do the update then. Because I'll be restarting the browser. If that happens, we will see it. All right, next, in terms of organization, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the um, document actor. We don't need it. It gets in the way. We'll get rid of this third person text because eh, we don't need it. Everything else we're gonna leave. Oh, no, no, we're gonna get rid of this player network start here. And now everything else we're gonna leave. Really quickly, just so I have things properly named, this will be our BP first person character. And our settings will be our BP survival game mode. I know I can say game game mode, but that seems, seems weird to me. Next, and this is optional at this point, in my survival game, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create three, four new folders. First one will be animation, or animations, plural. Then it will be materials. And then we'll have meshes. And finally, for now, we will have textures. All right, we're gonna move things into these folders. So I've gone into my survival game, animations. I'm gonna create a folder in here called character. In character, I'm gonna create one more folder called base. Now, base will be our unarmed animations. We'll have another folder, say, for armed animations, another for flying animations. We're not gonna have flying in this, by the way. I'm just giving an example. Um, if we do swimming, which is something I do plan to include, we will have a swimming animations folder. Next, I'm gonna to go to my mannequin, go to my animations, and I'm gonna select everything but this first one, this third person BP animation. I'm gonna highlight everything here, and I'm gonna move that into my base folder because these are the animations and blend spaces that I will be using when unarmed. As for this guy here, this third person admin BP, I'm gonna move this into our character folder itself. And the reason why this is in the character folder itself and not in the base is if we have, say, base unarmed, armed, swimming, flying, uh, dancing animations, I can trigger them all via this admin blueprint. I don't need multiples. However, I am going to rename this as ABP for admin blueprint first person. All right. Next, I'm going to go back into my mannequins folder. I'm going to go to character and I have a meshes and materials folder. So actually what I'm gonna do first is not make the mistake I did in the other recording. I'm gonna go into my textures, create a character folder, just open it up, do the same in our meshes folder. So why am I opening these up? If you notice when I do that on the right hand side of my content tree, those folders also appear once I've opened them. So I can see them more easily. So back to mannequin, back to character. In our materials, I'm gonna select everything in here and I'm just gonna move that over to my materials character folder. I'll take just a moment. We're gonna do the same for our mesh. I'm gonna take my skeletal mesh, my physics asset, and my UE4 skeleton and move that into our character's meshes. 
And finally, I will do the same for textures. And I forgot to say something, something really important. In what I just did, I might have broken my uh, material. If I have, I'll show you the fix. If I haven't, I'll still show you the fix in case you have. And I'm just gonna move that into our textures. Now, vitally important, if you have done that, is to still fix up redirectors, because I tend to find that fixes the bug before it shows up. I'm gonna delete it. And now if we go to our content folder, we have our third person. We have these meshes, and you know what, if we wanna keep them, we, we can have them as placeholders. I'm just gonna move them into my meshes folder and call these geometry, which I probably just spelled wrong and get used to me spelling stuff wrong in this series. So I'm just gonna move that into my geometry folder. There we go. Fix up redirectors again. And delete this folder. Boom. And back in our content folder, we have another geometry folder with other meshes in there. I'm just gonna select them all and also move them to that geometry. God knows there's probably duplicates in there. Yeah, we have multiple cubes. All right, technically these are materials, but this is really a placeholder folder. We're not gonna worry too much about it. Again, I'm gonna fix up my redirectors on my geometry, go back up to my content browser and delete both my geometry and my third person folder. All right, it might not let me, there might be still content in the browser. So what I'm gonna do is right click my third person. I am going to select show in Explorer. And that's open to my other window. So there's the Explorer. The cube material U asset is still being listed there for some reason. So I'm gonna manually move this to the correct spot. So I just hit control X to cut it. And I'm in my survival game. I'm gonna go to my no, I know it's a material, but we put that in the meshes folder. And we're just gonna place that in there. Yes, we place that file at that location. And again, I'm gonna select the content browser this time and do fix up redirectors just in case. And I'm going to delete that folder. Now it's gone. So we've done all of this so that we have one clear structure of folders we're gonna use. When we import things in this series, like we will be importing the open world demo, don't do that yet, by the way, I will be removing the folders, or I'll be removing from the folders the things I want and storing them in here. Um, and then deleting whatever is left over. That said, if we need to get engine content or things that you know are in starter content, but we don't have starter content, we can either add it by doing add feature or in some cases, and in most cases, what we'll be doing, show engine content. I'm gonna turn off show engine content for now because things like our water texture, or actually our water noise, will be located in that folder. So again, what we've done is we've organized our folders for good structure. That said, we've completed everything we need to do for our project setup. All right, that said, if you are looking forward to this series or enjoyed seeing, you know, setting up of a workflow, please hit that like button down below. If you want to be here when the next video in the series comes out and follow the tutorial series all the way through, make sure to hit that subscribe and notify icon. That said, if also be aware there is a Discord community, you are welcome to join. Also, if you want to have other questions, you don't want to join the Discord community feel free to post on the chat below or down in the comments below. Chat below, there's a chat. Um, in addition to all of that, if you want access to the project files, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Patreon supporters get access to the project at upper tiers right away. And at other tiers, we'll get access to the project once this series is completed. That said, this series has been brought to you by my Patreon supporters like Haynes, Quadmanson, and Rian. All of that said, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.